Hello, this is Matt with Modern School Bus. In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at a few different ways to compare two columns for matches and differences in Excel. So we are looking at how to compare two columns for matches and differences in Excel. The first thing that we are going to be looking at is how to compare two columns for matches and differences within the same row. And to do that, what I'm going to do is use the if function. So if you remember from my last video, the if function allows us to create a logical statement and depending on whether that statement is true or false, we can return a different value. So what I'm going to do here in my first formula is I'm gonna use the if function to check whether this cell is equal to this cell. And if it does equal, I'm gonna return yes, otherwise I will just return a blank. So I'm gonna select this cell, I'm gonna press equals and then type if, and then it's time for a logical test. So is this equal to this? If that's true, let's return yes. Otherwise, I will return a blank. So then when I copy and paste this formula down, you can see all of the ones where they're not equal just return a blank cell, and then the two where they are equal returns yes. So you can also do not equals with the if function. So this time I will return no for the cells that are not equal, equal to each other. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the if function. And this time we're gonna do this is not equal to this. And we will just return no to indicate that they are not matching. Otherwise I will return a blank. So I copy and paste this. And now I can see clearly which cells are not equal to each other. Now. We can also combine both of these. So I can use one if function to return yes if they do equal each other or no if they are not equal to each other. So equals if is this equal to this. If that's true, let's return yes. Otherwise, let's return no. And so that is how you can compare cells within the same row for matches and differences. So the one thing you wanna be aware of, of using this method is that it is not case sensitive. So if I change one of these to a lowercase b, you can see these don't change. So if you want to set up a case sensitive formula, we can do that using the if function However, you also have to use the exact function within the if function. So I'm gonna do that here just to show you how that would work. So it's still gonna be basically set up the same way. I'm gonna do equals if, but then I have to do exact. And then within this exact function, it's gonna be this cell compared to this cell. And then we can return our yes if it's an exact match otherwise no if it's not an exact match and so you'll notice this first one because the r in red is uppercase and then in the second one it's lowercase it's not an exact match so it returns no and then these ones do return a yes because they are an exact match so if you want it to be case sensitive you will have to use exact within the if function so these methods work if you are looking at comparing two columns for matches or differences within the same row. However, if you wanna compare for the entire column, the best way to do that is probably going to be to use the count if function. And that is what I'm gonna go over next. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to identify when there is a match within the column. So this time they don't have to be within the same row. So to do that, we're gonna use count if. So I'm gonna select this cell and we're gonna do count if. And then the first argument of this function is the range. So this is gonna be the range that I'm looking in. I'll actually just select the entire column. Next, it is the criteria. And so that is just gonna be this first cell. So what we are doing with this count if function is we are checking this range for this criteria and then count if is counting the number of times that this occurs within this range. So you can see it returns one and that is because 
you can find this match here. Now if I copy this, you can see now this changes to two because that's what the count if function does. It counts the number of times this will occur in this range. So then if I copy and paste this formula, now you can see these cells have a matching value in this range. So that is the best way to compare two columns for matches if you don't want to only look at values within the same row. The next thing that I'm going to cover is how to highlight matches or differences using conditional formatting. So if I don't want to use a formula like in the previous examples, we can use conditional formatting to quickly highlight either duplicate values or values that are unique within our data range. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight my range and then I'm going to come up to the top conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and here's the option for duplicate values. So now on the left hand side here with my data, every value that is a duplicate is highlighted red. And if I want to change the color, I can do that here. But you can also set this to unique. So right now it's set to highlight duplicates. But if you want to do unique values, you could select that as well. And that would be how to highlight matches or differences within your data range. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to place a link in the description of the video where you can subscribe to my email newsletter to get free updates and lessons sent straight to your email. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.